Hi there. Today we're diving into a crucial topic, how to effectively counter book bans and defend intellectual freedom. Recently, Pink made headlines by donating thousands of banned books at her Florida concerts in partnership with PEN America, a bold stand against the escalating book challenges across the US. But Pink is not alone in this fight. So let's explore what people are doing to push back against censorship. Despite common beliefs, censorship isn't widely supported in the US. Surveys show a majority opposing book removals in schools based on individual parental objections. The financial cost of censorship is often overlooked. Legal battles from book removals can drain public resources, with recent cases highlighting this issue. In Texas, Representative James Tallarico is working to prevent viewpoint discrimination in legislation, potentially exposing it to legal challenges. Meanwhile, Louisiana's Attorney General faced backlash for a tip line aimed at reporting objectionable library content, ironically inundated with anti-censorship messages. Advocates are also emphasising the broad range of books at risk, for example, Shakespeare and the Bible. The key takeaway is showing up and voicing opposition actually matters. Organisations like the ALA, so the American Library Association, and Every Library are invaluable, providing resources, funding, and legal expertise to those fighting book bans, engaging in banned books activities, webinars, and even organising your own events are powerful ways to get involved. Reaching out to banned authors, participating in virtual readouts, and writing about censorship are other effective methods to spread awareness. Show your support with banned books materials. Use social media to amplify the message using hashtag banned books. And let's not forget the educational front. Brittany Collins, an expert in the field, told us that by using controversial literature, it can help foster critical thinking and research skills. The battle against book censorship isn't just about protests. It's about educating, engaging, and empowering communities to stand up for intellectual freedom. So that's all for today's Remember, every voice counts in the fight against censorship. Hit like, subscribe, and join us in defending our freedom to read. Until next time.